Pitch on the way to the plate. Is blow for a ball. Throw down to first base in plenty of time and out. At first base is Enrique Hernandez as Wilfrey Pena threw behind him and Labrice slapped down the tag. Big pitch coming here for Jordan. Would love to get out of this jam again. He's run into a little bit of trouble just about every inning. Valley Cats have had runners on base in each of the first four. The one-two on the way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And down goes Stanley. Pena applies the tag and the inning is over. No runs. One hit, two left the board. Three and a half played. We remain scoreless here at Centennial Field between the Tri-City Valley Cats and your Vermont Lake Monsters. You're listening to Vermont Lake Monster Baseball. The Zone. To the leadoff man here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Scoreless ball game, Lake Monsters and Tri-City Valley Cats in the first of three at Centennial Field. Quavedo has the sign, kicks and fires a payoff pitch. High in the air and deep to left field. Going back is Dan Adamson for a look, but this one is out of here. Off the secondary billboards deep down the left field line, Stephen King's second home run of the season gives the Lake Monsters a one to nothing lead. Jordan looking at Infante, deals a one-two pitch to the plate, misses inside, Pena picks it up after it gets loose, throws down to third base and out by a mile to end the inning is Wilton Infante who got a terrible jump on that pass ball from Pena and Pena guns him down two to five and the side is retired with Kwasnicka at the plate. No runs, no hits, nobody left aboard as Taylor Jordan gets out of trouble again. We've played four and a half here at Centennial Field. Lake Monsters one, Tri-City nothing. You're listening to Vermont Lake Monster Baseball. Lake Monsters only run of the ball game. A bottom of the fourth solo home run by Stephen King. Labrie stands in. As Quavedo pitches high in the air and deep toward left center field. Going back is Adamson to the wall looking up. And it is out of here. Ronnie Labrie gives the Lake Monsters a 2 to nothing lead. The second home run of the game for the second time this season. As Ronnie Labrie banks it off the bottom of the auxiliary advertisements in the left center field. Gap just over the 355. Ball and a strike now to Enrique Hernandez. Crowd once again in a concerned murmur. As Graham comes set, checks the runner at third and deals to the plate. Swung on, hit on the ground softly towards short. Picked up by King, throws across the diamond in time, and Ben Graham works out of big trouble here in the seventh and keeps the Tri-City Valley Cats off the board. There was a run, there was a no runs. One hit, one walk, and two left to board in scoring position. We have played six and a half. Get up and stretch here at Centennial Field. The Lake Monsters have a two to nothing lead on the Tri-City Valley Cats. You're listening to Vermont Lake Monster Baseball. Two balls and two strikes. Crane back up on the bump. The two-two to Stanley. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the ball game is over. And the Vermont Lake Monsters pick up their first shutout of the year as they blank the Tri-City Valley Cats 2-0 here at Centennial Field. 